As Kenya goes through the roller coaster of anxiety, excitement, and logistical nightmares of hosting U.S. President Barack Obama this weekend, a shadow of doubt has hung above everything else. President, President Uhuru Kenyatta would meet his American colleague on Saturday. But where would his deputy, William Ruto, be? Will he be in that same room as bilateral talks kick off? Although headlines have hinted at Ruto's case at the ICC gradually collapsing, the DP still carries that heavy tug that comes with being on trial in front of a global gallery. How you doing? How's business? And that very question of whether the visiting American president will have any engagements with Ruto haunted the president at his last media briefing. Um, he is coming to meet the government that is in place, that includes all of us. So I think the question you're asking uh, is pretty uh, irrelevant because last I recall the deputy president was part of this government. So we shall all be meeting and proceeding with what we need to do. The business is between the United States and Kenya and the strengthening of our already very strong relationship and partnership between our two countries. Now, the White House has confirmed how close the deputy president will come to engaging President Obama. I don't think he has any in, uh, plans for any separate engagements with him. He is a member of the government, so I imagine that he may be uh, present at some of the events. But even with that nail on the coffin announcement by the U.S. National Security Advisor Susan Rice, some questions are still unanswered. Will President Obama shake William Ruto's hand? The spectacles of power play have often overshadowed strong agenda during meetings between world leaders. Just recently, President Obama had an awkward moment with Iraqi Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi. At the G7 summit in Germany, Obama was deeply engrossed in talks with IMF's Christine Lagarde when al-Abadi cozied up to steal some moments with the U.S. ruler. But President Obama only gave a cold shoulder, forcing the embarrassed Iraqi leader to back away slowly from the situation. So when Obama finally meets Kenyan leaders this weekend, the cameras will be just as keen on the optics that are more often than not much louder than the speeches. Ashamwilu, KTN News.